I'm doing now is I'm getting ready to uh, flatten this piece of PVC. It's just a four inch drain pipe that I, I cut, I think six inches. Uh, I didn't really even measure it because I know I'm gonna have to cut it anyway. But I wanna flatten it out, so I'm gonna heat it up. Now, let's see if I can flatten that. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can. Let's do it this way. All right, let me get a couple of clamps. See if I can't clamp this together. I should have had these clamps already set. That's all right. Yeah, that's looking pretty flat. All right, well, I had to, I went to a big box store and I bought uh, a sheet of this one inch foam. And uh, so that's what I'm using now. And I'm just, uh, I'm just spraying it. And I'm just stacking them up. I'm just using uh, Loctite spray adhesive. No endorsement, <laughs> but it works pretty good. It seems to be sticking this stuff together pretty good. And I, I put it on both sides. Put it on both sides and then stick them together. Mash it down real good. They cut them for me. <laughs> and the poor kid, the only thing he had to cut it with was a pocket knife. And he had problems. To start trying to figure out how I want to sculpt this thing and I know I'm probably gonna have to add another couple pieces up here but uh, right here let's see I'm gonna sit it just like this and that's the edge so all this I have to go and this right there This thing is, this curvature comes just kind of like that. But I'm going to go a little bit wider. Come out kind of like this. Okay. All right, about three quarter. All right. So I want to go probably at least two inches from there. I'll go at least, uh, I'll go about two and an eighth. I want to have plenty of, I want to have plenty of room there. All right, and then that's going to have to go, it's going to have to get around that. So let's just kind of, come like this. Start curving. Right. And what you know, as I get this thing cut down, uh, you know, this is kind of a trial and error thing. It's eight inches there. And that'll come. These will be meeting up in this direction. All right, probably gonna make a big mess, but I'm just gonna try to cut this stuff out. And I'm, I'm going on the outside of my lines by a good bit. Yeah, I'm gonna make a mess, but it's all right. 
nicely here. Okay, so I've got this roughly, you know, just real rough shape. But the way this is going to work, my my PVC got pretty flat, so I'm about ready to use it. I'm going to take a piece of it. It's going to go here on the bottom, and that's going to hook under that deck thing and keep it from wanting to raise up. So I'm going to go in there and cut this and uh, be right back. All right. Well, things got a little bit easier once I realized that I am the proud owner of a bandsaw. <laughs> that made it a lot easier. But you can see here, I've got it kind of angled up. I've still got a lot of shaping to do on this thing, but uh, it's actually coming along pretty good now. Uh, I've got eight inches over here, which I think I may have to change that a little bit. It looks like my fiberglass will end up getting into that wheel, and I really don't want that. So I'm going to probably trim a little bit off of that side, but I've got to keep this about eight inches because this is where the transition is going to be from my from that into the hose so i'm going to have to you know i'm going to have to watch out for that even if i have to glue another piece on the other side and shape some more so uh all right uh that's where i'm at right now okay now i've got to take my foam right here and I've got to make a circle that's going to accept my hose that's going to come in here. And the way I'm going to do that is with PVC. Now I took this 4 inch PVC and I just cut it down to, uh, uh, I, I mean I cut it in half. So when I flatten that out, it'll give me, you know, kind of a wide piece. Uh, probably about 6 inches wide believe that's about right but most importantly is the length because I should be able to bend this around into a circle that will fit perfectly inside my 8 inch pipe and that that's what I'm going to try to do now and and then it'll be inset into this with uh with the fiberglass it'll all become part of this uh with this flange sticking out and then my hose should be able to connect onto that. <laughs> we'll see how that works. But anyway, in order to figure that out, I took the inside diameter of my hose, and let me see, I'll write this formula down for you. The formula for figuring the circumference is C equals two pi R. Okay, so uh, R equals 4 because I've got an 8 inch pipe and then you multiply that times pi and I don't know what I forgot what it is but you multiply that by 2 and I got 25.125 so I cut this 25.125 inches long so now all I got to do is heat it up and flatten it out so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that it's going to take a little while so, but I'll be back once I get that done. I may have to make a form on the lathe to do this. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Well, that looks pretty good actually. All right, so what I've done is I've taken that that circle and I marked uh, I marked where the pieces meet and I glue I'm gluing it together with PVC glue. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that works. I don't you know I don't really know how it's going to work, but maybe it'll work. I know that stuff's really strong. All right. Well, there's my second one. I think it's going to work out just fine also. 
and what's really cool is these things conform to the uh, to the shapes here. That'll actually help hold it in. So, uh, man, that's that's great. Okay, this mess <laughs> is uh, is for my flange that I made. Okay, so this flange is going to go onto this. So I've got to cut that out. And I'm just going to cut it back. Probably going to go straight back on this, and I'm going to curve this sort of that way, maybe. I really don't know yet, but uh, i got to cut out that circle so this flange will fit on there. And then it'll all get fiberglass together. Okay. Well, I rough cut it all out with a saw. Now I'm just going back <clears throat> with a rasp. I'm just kind of a rasp, and I'm just kind of... Kind of shaping it up a little bit more. This doesn't have to be a perfect fit. But what I'm looking for is, uh, well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a perfect fit because everything's going to be fiberglassed on the outside. So if it's a little bit loose, that's all right. But all I'm doing is just... Just kind of shaping it to get that piece to fit in here. All right. Okay, that's got that fits. Now you see like like this gap and all right here. It's no problem. My fiberglass will lay right down through there and make a nice smooth transition all the way around. So now what I'm going to start working on is like taking off these corners and you know just shaping everything up. A uh, little bit nicer. I've got a lot to do over here, you know. Uh, I want to kind of slope this all out this way. All I've been doing is just kind of removing some of the bulk material. Uh, I'm going to round all this over and all that kind of good stuff, <clears throat> and just just shaping it, you know. And I'm mainly doing it with a. Uh, with this blade, you know, it uh, it does pretty good for uh, cutting just about anything you want to cut. You know, rough shaping anyway. Just rasp, you know, and just work it all down. You know, make everything smooth. Okay. All right, well, now I've got this, uh, I got the deck taped up good all the way around, so hopefully I don't get like epoxy on here and uh, glue my, glue this thing to the deck. But now this is going to go on here like this. And I'm going to tape that on also. That sits like that, and that sits like that, okay? All right, so that'll get taped on there also. <clears throat> um, some of these areas here, I'm gonna, I'll probably end up taping up also. I don't really know just if I run out of tape, but to try to, you know, help keep stuff from sticking to that. But I'm gonna hot glue this down, and that that's gonna be the edge of all my fiberglass will be right here. This this will be the edge of it. So uh, that's all that this PVC is doing. It's just kind of reinforcing that fiberglass. So I'm going to hot glue that down right quick. So that it, hopefully it'll come off with the tape. And that'll just give me a flange that I can drill a hole in. Well, now I'm just, I'm taping this thing on here. Of course, okay, there we go. Just taping it on here to hold it. Just to hold it in position for now. 
Okay. Now what I'm doing, I've got it all, I've got all my transitions all taped up. So they should be good. All I'm doing now is I'm just kind of going around the whole thing and putting this tape on there. And that'll uh, just help me get this thing out a little bit easier once the fiberglass sets up. And it'll make it a lot smoother too. Instead of having all these tear outs where I did where I was sculpting around and getting all these holes, this will make a, a lot better transition on those holes, make it a lot smoother. So like I said, I don't know if it's right, but that's the way I'm doing it. Okay, well I'm getting ready to uh, try to mix some of this stuff up. I'm using the fiberglass mat. And I'm going to start on the bottom, on the bottom of the uh, thing first. Okay, so I'm going to fiberglass all this together here, and then down. I've got a two-inch mark around my my pipe. So, uh, and that's where I'll stop is two inches. But I'm going to start here, and then that way I can lay the deck back down to finish it. So, all right, well. Let's see if we can mix this. This stuff don't have like an eight to 12 minute working time. So, uh, I mean, you gotta be quick. And, and I've never done it before. So I'm using the mat so that I can maybe get around some of these curves a little better uh, instead of the cloth, the fiberglass cloth. So, gonna start out these are three ounce cups so I'm gonna put three ounces in I'm gonna be using a two inch chip brush to uh, apply this stuff with but yeah we're just gonna mix this up real good all right, got my fiberglass. I've got my mat here, I mean. All right, now I want to bring this to my two inch mark. And then uh, here, I may not even worry about the two inch mark. All right, I want to get this on here like that. Let me just try to get started here. Well, you know, you can you get it on here, and it'll it'll kind of stick itself, kind of stick itself. I may be making a mess. I just am not good at this. Of course, I've never really done it either. But, I mean, it looks like it's, it's actually conforming. Well, all right, it's got my first layer on. It's curing up. I know it It uh, definitely could look better, but I think once I sand it, uh, once I sand it and get the second one on, and I don't know, possibly even a third, uh, I don't know how many I should be putting on there, but that'll, uh, that should get me uh, 
pretty strong. I get two or three layers on there, that uh, and that stuff's supposed to be pretty strong. But uh, I may end up having to get some more resin. I used uh, 12 ounces just now on that. So, so we'll see. But hey, yeah, it's uh, it's going pretty good. And well, all right. Well, here we go. I got this one done. So now I'm I'm ready to. Uh, I guess I'm ready to uh, fiberglass this one. And this one here, I'm getting ready to sand. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna fiberglass this one first, and then I'm gonna sand that one while, that, while that's curing. And once that's cured, uh, I don't know. It's, it says it takes about two hours to cure, so maybe it'll be done you know in just a little while uh, i'm going to put another coat of fiberglass on that one and another coat on this one all right well i'm just getting ready to start sanding i'm just using my random orbit sander uh 120 grit i'm just going to try to knock off some of these rougher areas <laughs> which is about the whole thing <laughs> It's got this one done it's got them both sanded uh, you know this one actually was easier to do uh, using smaller pieces really made a big difference and uh, that stuff's really hard too I, I can't really get over how rigid that stuff gets just when that when that epoxy sets up but anyway you can see I got some holes in here uh it's where air bubbles were and i'm i mean the only thing i know to do is just uh go ahead and put my second layer on and uh i sanded it really really thin so maybe the next layer will just bond right to it and uh, and i'll be able to sand that out uh, nice and smooth when i get done well all right then i've just taken this off and uh sanded it real good because man these things got splinters <laughs> they are rough too but uh i've got this all sanded up well it's sanded at 100 grit so uh uh and just uh i went over it 120 with my random orbit sander and then i came back i, I just had some 100 grit and i just hand sanded every every place all over just so uh it's kind of smooth but i talked to one of my buddies that does body work and stuff like that and uh and he said that that this that this area really does need to be reinforced so i laid in two more layers in here uh from right up under the bottom here up the sides uh, all the way around all the way around to here this whole curve and then all all over the top so i put two more layers in there but the area i was worried about is this two or three inch strip right here and uh, as i was laying them down i would fold this layer up and i would fold this layer down and then i came across with patches across the top so really there's uh, probably six or seven layers actually right here uh along this edge so that's very sturdy uh you know might be a rock or something go through it but i'm going to try not to hit any rocks while i'm using this thing just to tear some of it out of the middle and just break it up as much as i can with this making sure i don't hit that fiberglass well as you can see it's coming out in chunks uh but it hadn't been that bad uh 
it's not sticking to the sides. I mean, you can see like here where the, the tape that I used is, uh, I mean, it, it just lets go. But I'm just trying to get this last piece out. Let's get it right there. Yep. That's it. The last big piece. Try to get some of the table with it too. Well, I don't think the tape's gonna come separate. There it is. Like that office depot office is your business go to. Well, let's see if I had to go on there. Golly. Look at that. <laughs> Get you a load of that. Show you the pathway through there. Look at that. Shouldn't have any problems getting getting leaves and grass to go through that. Not bad at all. <laughs> okay, a little paint. This thing will look pretty good. Okay, well, what I'm getting ready to do is uh, the way I'm going to attach that onto the deck is with two screws or two uh, bolts. So I've drilled two holes here and coincided them onto the deck and uh, what I did was I put a bolt a bolt through there and I'm going to weld a nut on the back or on the bottom now when I take the bolts out in the deck I can still use that, the other accessories for the deck and all I'll have is just two nuts right there so That's a, uh, that's one of those uh, nylon lock nuts. This goes on, hook the bottom, put it up on the top, and everything lined up. Mm, forgot the, forgot the washer. Put the other one in first. Everything's already lined up. Now see, I don't, I won't have to reach up under the deck or anything to put these in. Good. I don't have to worry about that coming off. And that's all I'm going to put on there. I don't care if that moves just a little bit at the bottom. That doesn't bother me. That's why I put the, the PVC on the bottom. So, all right. Well, that's got her on the lawnmower. Now, I realize my hose is a little bit long. And if these bends cause me problems then I'll shorten that hose, but I paid so much for that thing, I really don't want to cut it unless I have to. Uh, 